Thank you. Right now, I can only speak about two minutes because we have a meeting with the governor's top health aide in here. I brought a series of reports. We have a number of physicians and attorneys who are going to go in and meet for a half hour. What I'm going to. The reason we're all here is in today's New York Times, the front page of the business section. I brought a copy of it with me. I'll show you this a little later. It's about how much money the pharmaceutical companies can make off these vaccines. I wished, I wished that we had pulled back and understood that the debate should not be about whether you're going to mandate a vaccine for healthcare workers. We missed the point. I'm a scientist. I'm a PhD in human nutrition, public health science. I'm a professor of graduate sciences. I'm a research scientist in anti-aging medicine. The very first rule is never assume that where you're beginning is the right place. Take a step back. We've assumed that vaccines are safe and effective. Nobody's even questioning. No one in this, no one in this building here has asked a basic question. Are vaccines safe? If so, what is the proof? Are they effective? If so, what is the proof? I'm going to ask two more questions later today. Are vaccines not safe and what is the proof? Are vaccines not effective and what is the proof? If I can find proof that vaccines are not safe and effective, then what about the hundreds of thousands of people working in the vaccine industry? What about the journalists, the journalists at the major networks? Why haven't they been on this story? Why are we pumping tens of billions of dollars into one of the biggest health frauds in history and making people the guinea pigs? Now it's the nurses, the doctors, tomorrow it'll be the school teachers, then the police officers, then the firefighters, and then it's in your home. I say the government should not be allowed to come in your home and have a healthy body given a deadly disease producing drug. Show me in the Constitution where you as a healthy person are, are forced to have a drug. Could you imagine if they said tomorrow you must take chemotherapy, but I don't have cancer. Well, we decide you take it. Or you have to take statins, but I don't have a heart problem. Well, we decide you take it. Well, I don't have flu, and I don't want their drug. And until such time, they can show me science, real science, not the science they bought and paid for by hiring scientists. I'm talking about real science for real people. Then we have to say no to these clowns. I'm not here because I respect the legislative process. I'm here because I respect the people who put these people in their positions of power, and they're abusing that power. I'm going in there, and I'm going to have a conversation with this clown he's not going to feel good about.